No notification, dude, screwed over by YouTube. Well, that sucks. This looks like possibly We're out here at the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. I did a live stream uh, last night about some stuff that's going on here. Well, they sure lucked out. Contact information is in the description. If you didn't see the live stream last night, check it out. I'll get you up to date on what's going on here in a minute. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. What's your name? Turn off that camera. What's that? Can you turn your camera off, please? No, thank you. Hey, come back here right now. Hey, I need some help over here. Guys, they won't even, this guy won't even help me because I'm recording him. Deputy Harry Gray is the name of the deputy. Contact information is in the description, guys. They uh, won't even, they won't even help me because I'm recording. <clears throat> so last night, these guys uh, did a retaliatory arrest. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, is Sheriff Wood here? No, he's not. All right, and who are you? Detective Bailey. Detective Bailey, what's your first name? It's Detective B. Bailey. Detective B. Bailey? Yep. Your mother named you Detective B. Bailey? I gave you my last name. What's your first name? My, I don't need to give you my first name. Okay, get me a couple of things. A few open records requests so I can get your first name. Okay. Uh, anybody who's watching live, I know a lot of you guys are from Lincoln County. If you can get B's first name, I'd appreciate it. So you're going to make me do an open records request for it? Huh? You're yeah. going to make, to get your name? Here you go. You think, I uh, gave you my name, Detective Bailey. I asked for your first name. You need, my name is Bailey. I asked for your first name. Okay, it's Bryce. Bryce, yep. thank you. Was that was that so difficult? Now I'm going to ask you from here on out to cooperate with my investigation. Do you understand? No well, more of these games. Do you understand? That's that's uh, for me to to deal with what I'm investigating. Okay, okay. Sheriff Wood here. No, he's Bryce. Not. No. Okay, where is he? I have no clue. Is the under sheriff here? No. Nope. Where is she? <clears throat> she is working somewhere. Okay, can you tell Sheriff Wood that James Freeman is here uh, to see about his transparency policy? What do you mean is transparency policy? Well, that's again, well, that's kind of a discussion I would have with Sheriff Wood. Okay. Um, he's uh, gone live on Facebook multiple times and uh, and said that he believes 100% in transparency. He said that he's going to use his Facebook platform or the Sheriff's Department's Facebook platform to update the community about things that, that matter, that they need to know about mm -hmm. in real time. Okay. So um, I'm just here to live myself to... Uh, maybe go live with him on the Lincoln County Sheriff's Department Facebook page and let the let the public know what he's doing right now. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can do a request and get a request. No, I'm asking you to call him. Office. Just call him and tell him. It's, sorry, I'm a little, let me, let me calm down. I'm a little upset at how you were trying to hinder my investigation in the beginning. Um, let me take a deep breath. We'll start over. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so I'm not asking, uh, you gave me your name. I don't think I need that anymore. I'll keep it in case I need it later. Um, but I'm not asking to like, uh, I, I, I'm asking you to just tell the sheriff to come out here. You can tell him he's it's, not here. you can tell him it's James though. He's not here. But tell, if you tell him it's James. J the sheriff is not here. No, I know. But if you could call him and or text him and let him know that James is here. Um, he's busy right now, so I don't think he'd come down, but I'm well, it's a, call him. it's a matter of. Uh, uh, transparency. So it's kind of a transparency emergency, if you will. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, what's, uh, what's this guy's name who refused to serve the public because I'm recording him? Uh, this guy, a records custodian? Is that who it was? It's my Chavez. Name's, my name's right there on the window. What is it? Sam E. Chavez? Sir, take that damn camera out of my face. Sam E. Chavez? Grow up, Sam. Sit back down and do your job. I don't pay you to walk away from your desk. Do you understand me? What? You don't need to yell, man. I need, yeah, I do. It's thick glass. He can't hear me unless I yell. He can hear you right it's here. thick glass. He can't hear me unless I yell. What else can I hey, do with? Can you hear me through here? Is there a microphone? I'm just trying to speak at a volume where I can be heard. That's all. Well, the door's open so he can hear you. Through. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. So you don't Appreciate have to yell. It's pretty thick glass, though. Yep. I mean, that's like bulletproof. Like, that's hard to hear through unless you, I mean, I guess you could yell into here. Hey, can you hear me? Right. So anyways, um, I was, what was his name again? Sam, Sammy Chavez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you give the sheriff a call and let him know I'm here? Uh, I'll call him, but. Cool. Uh, Just tell him it's James. Well, I, I need him to release some body cam footage immediately. Well, you need to do a request for that. No, 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 no. Not that way. Not the whole, let's wait 15 days and all that bull crap. No, the transparency way. Well, the only way you're going to, I believe, you no, 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 no. camera is to do a request. Really? Because I see departments release body cam footage the very next day with no request whatsoever and as a matter of transparency. Well, if they post it. I'm sure they can post it. Sure. If somebody from the public wants it, they do a request. For right. And that's what I'm asking for. I'm not asking for it for me. I'm asking for him to post it on the sheriff's page right away. Sure. Have a good day. All right. I'll be right here waiting for are you. Are you going to call him and ask him to come out or what? He's not here. I know you told me that. So he can't come out if he's not here. What do you mean not here? He can't come out if he's not here. So where? What is he in a dungeon? He's unable to move. Well, you just asked him to come out. So when you yeah, say come out him, here. When you ask him to come out, that means you think he's standing right here in his office. No, no, no. Come out so to the office. Come out here. No, no, no. Come out to the office from wherever he's at. Is he at the grocery store? Is he is he out picking up chicks and trying to get their phone numbers while they're detained and handcuffed in the back of his car? I don't know where he's at. I don't keep tabs on him. So okay. Where's that? I just know he's working. Can you give him a call then? I'll see about Tell it. Tell him James is here and ask him to come out. Tell him it's James. I'm sure he'll come right right over. Because it's all about the transparency thing that he's his campaign is all about. <clears throat> Guys, um, I usually don't go with such an aggressive uh, approach. I've been trying to chill out. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty pissed about what's going on here. This woman, two weeks ago, snitched on one of their deputies for some dirty behavior. And then yesterday in retaliation, they arrested her on a, on a uh, misdemeanor traffic charge, well, a, a, a traffic charge, a traffic violation that's typically a hundred dollar fine. They arrested her for it. This is a woman who two weeks ago snitched on one of their deputies. That deputy is now under criminal investigation by the DA's office. I was there while she was being invested, or, uh, 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 question, um, interviewed by the DA. All right. So he's under criminal investigation for, for what he allegedly may have done or tried to do to her. And now two weeks later, the entire sheriff's department, 10 deputies and the sheriff show up to arrest her for a, a, a traffic violation. And she's in jail right this second, right this second, she's in jail. If that's not retaliation, I don't know what is. She's been in jail for uh, since, I think she was arrested at 3 p.m. yesterday, almost 24 hours in their custody. So I, uh, I, I typically prefer to, to be cool, calm, collected, and reasonable, but I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm effing pissed. Sam, get back over to your workstation. I don't pay you to sit over there and do nothing. 
If anybody wants to come out here, it's uh, Lincoln County Sheriff's Department in Carrizoza, New Mexico. Come on out. <clears throat> we're going to be out here. We're going to be live streaming until she gets out of jail. And uh, then we're going to be going over and meeting with her and her attorney when she gets out of jail. And her attorney is going to speak on what's going on, I believe. <clears throat> uh, she had court about an hour ago. The judge said that they were going to try to release her within an hour. But, um, I mean, this is, this is just sick. I have a loud inside voice. Ron, I've been hanging out with Ron too much. You know? You ever heard Ron speak? Notice, entry beyond this point, authorized personnel only. You, ever, you guys ever heard Ron Durbin speak? If you've been within a thousand yards of him, you've heard him speak. <laughs> the man has a uh, he has a booming inside voice. <clears throat> Let me see if I can call the uh, sheriff, Mr. Sheriff Wood. What about your dirty behavior, James? Morning, Wood. Um, Lincoln County Commission. Uh, let's see. Lincoln County Manager's Office. Offices of Lincoln County. To get the managerial offices, press 5. For the assessor's office, press 4. For the clerk's office, press 6. For the treasurer's office, press 7. For Charlotte Ways, please dial 575 258 8533. If you know the extension number of the person you're trying to reach, please dial. Buy a chill pill later. Thanks, Trump. I appreciate it, man. Call. Please hold. The truth is, there's nothing we can ever do about what these people do. Well, Lincoln County, may I help you? Hey, how you doing this afternoon? Good, and you? Good. Hey, this is uh, James. I'm I'm over at the uh, sheriff's department, uh, waiting for uh, Sheriff Mike Wood to come over. Do you know where he's at? I'm in the finance side. I don't work for the sheriff's office. Okay. You need you... to call uh, 64824. Hold on. I need to make sure I know their number. Dispatch. Well, I'm, I, I, I've, I'm sitting in the sheriff's department. I've already talked to them. I'm just trying to make sure everyone in the entire county knows that I'm sitting here waiting for Sheriff Wood. Uh, do you um, know I him? Can... can you call him for me? Um, and your name? James. Again? It's James. James with? Uh, with I'm just with myself. It's 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 just me here, um, and I, and I'm in the lobby of the uh, police department, and I'm just wanting him to come out here and and talk to me. I've uh, I, I've heard and seen all these things about how he's super transparent, and saw stuff all over Facebook about how if you just come into his office, he'll just come down and talk to you. So here I am, and I'm just trying to let everyone in the entire county know I'm here, so that whoever knows how to get a hold of him can get a hold of him. I, I sincerely appreciate it, man. And uh, is there is there any other extension? Can you send me to another extension so I can tell somebody else too? Um, okay. do, do you have his personal cell phone number? Um, the county phone number. Okay, his county cell phone number? Yeah. Could, could you do me a huge favor and give him a call on that phone right now and let him know that I'm here? Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I can't. Well, I guess I can. Um, I'll put you, have to put you on hold. You, you are a sweetheart. Thank you so much, ma'am. What was your name? Billy Joe. Billy Joe? I'm James. James Freeman. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, hold Billy on. Joe. I appreciate it.
<clears throat> if you guys look at his Facebook page, um, on the, uh, the post that he made a few weeks ago about his officer, uh, which, by the way, he wouldn't tell his name either. He, he was talking about, oh, you're going to hear it from us first because we're going to be transparent, but then refused to give the deputy's name who is accused of something. Doesn't mean he necessarily did it, but his name is Harry Gray. Um, his name is Harry Gray, Deputy Harry Gray. And, uh, you know, the thing is that these police departments and these sheriff's departments, they'll release the name of you or me at, at any time as soon as we're arrested at, and accused of doing something wrong far before we're convicted. So why he wouldn't release the name of one of his own when accused of something the way he would do it to the, the general public, I don't know. But I mean, this guy is so, this sheriff is so full of crap trying to pretend and talk about, oh, I'm transparent. I guarantee you he's not. The only thing, these departments do this all the time. As long as they can control the narrative, they'll put things out. But transparency is just letting the chips fall where they may and uh, letting the camera show what, what's really going on. And um, Sheriff Wood is, is welcome to prove me wrong, but I don't think he'll ever even show up out here today. I don't think he'll show up because I, I think he's full of crap with this whole transparency thing. What do you guys think? You think he's actually going to show up and tell us what's going on? like a transparent sheriff would do. And now we got this guy, Sammy Chavez, that is on your uh, tax dollars right now, who thinks he gets to just sit back there and not do his job anymore because the press is in here doing a story about a, about the corrupt department. Like he, Sam Chavez literally thinks he can just walk away and stop working. He's still getting paid by you, by the way. But he thinks it's okay to just walk away. Quit his job. I really, really, really wish the crew was with me here. And by the crew, I mean um, the guys at Guerrilla Publishing and uh, Josh from Accountability for All. I really wish those guys were all here with me right now. <laughs> I've enjoyed the hell out of working as a group with them. By the way, we, we are gonna be doing some more collabing within the next few days, myself and Guerrilla Media. I don't know if Josh is going to be on this next one. He will be with us again, though, at some point. Yeah, YouTube didn't send out a notification. No. I really wish they were here with me right now. Hey, I'm live, but you're not on speakerphone though. What's up? I we're I, I'm I'm in the middle of something. We got a woman in jail down here right now that's being retaliated against by the police.
Yes. Uh huh. Heck yeah. What? To Ron? Oh, they all knew he screwed up. Dude, <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I'm already on the road. Uh, you are on my, so I'm in, I went south right now, and then I'm headed over to Texas, and then I'm headed up north to you guys after that. Uh, I think around the 15th. Um, but I'm, I'm going to cover that stuff down in, t what's that? Either one. I'm down with whatever. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. All right. Sweet. Will do. Thanks. All right. Bye. Speaking of working with the guys over at Gorilla Media, that was Josh Riddle over at Gorilla Media. Uh, got an update on Ron being detained by a Oklahoma cop a few weeks ago. That video is up on their channel on Guerrilla Publishing. And they just got the body cam. And um, I'm not going to spoil it, but the body cam will be released on their channel soon. And I'll tell you this. It's good. It's good. They said everything they shouldn't say on the body cameras. They testified against themselves repeatedly. I'll give you that much. So make sure you're subscribed to Guerrilla Media. These guys are guys that I've worked with a lot in the last couple of months, and I'm gonna be working with them even more in the near future. Yeah, they were trying to mute. They were trying to, trying to turn it off also. I think at one point they thought they were off. It's good. It's good. All right. Make some more phone calls. <sighs> See where the sheriff's at. <sighs> I really, really thoroughly enjoy being out with a group rather than alone. There's some things that are fun to do alone. The whole like script flip thing that I always do that I do better alone. But when there's something like really going on like this, like what's going on right here today and, and you're in a lobby um, bringing attention to some seriously crooked behavior, I'm not going to lie. I, I act like I'm tough and I talk like I'm tough. I'm not. I am genuinely scared when I do this stuff and anybody who isn't genuinely fearful about doing what I'm doing right now that's just because you're stupid <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be rude but I mean if you don't realize the kind of danger that you're really in especially coming in and doing this alone that's really one of the biggest reasons I'm live right now is that I've got over a thousand of you guys watching. It depends on the situation. Yeah, that's me, stupid. <laughs> Somebody else says I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I've done this so many times, right? And so many times I'm like, oh man, I'm going to go into this place. You know, we know we're not doing anything illegal. I've been arrested so many times now though, right? And beat every single charge because I've never done anything illegal. But uh, at some point you realize you don't ever have to even come close to a line of doing something illegal to be at risk of just having being kidnapped and having all of your stuff stolen. Um, it's you, for those of you who've been following the channel for five years or more, you've seen it happen so many times. 
but it um so anyways these these are dangerous people they are dangerous people and i don't think that we should ever try to deny that and pretend that we're the tough guy that we're the big one that we're the one that's in charge i mean obviously i pretend you get back here and do your job that's all just bo bs talking the truth is these guys rule us the truth is they're willing to violently attack us and the truth is i actually know that you me we're not in charge of anything It's not our government. Thank you for calling the offices of Lincoln County. To get the managerial offices, press five. For the assessor's office, press four. For the we'll go with managerial office. Call. Please hold. We are going to go over to the jail when she gets released and uh, talk with her and her attorney. Sam E. Chavez still isn't working either. He's still uh, he's still refusing to work because I'm live streaming here, which is not what we pay him to do. We don't pay him to. All right, you know what? Oh, here we go. Oh no, that's animal control. Hey, animal control could help too. We got some feral pigs causing problems in the area. Feral pigs. Yeah, Thunder Rolls Media. Yeah, if you've got the sheriff's phone number, just call him, tell him I'm here waiting for him. Lincoln County offices. Lincoln County Clerk's Office.
it looks I don't know this area that well, but it looks like the other county offices may be a long ways away from here. Hey, don't do anything illegal, guys. If you're reaching out and calling, don't do anything illegal. Don't make any threats. If you uh, would uh, please do me that favor. <laughs> um, I think that all of us can appreciate the people all standing up and standing behind someone who's being abused but these guys are the criminals and i would love it if you guys would uh help us keep it that way let them commit the crimes and let's uh let's not commit crimes um, it's not illegal to be loud obnoxious to yell to scream to cuss to i mean if that's you know, wh whatever your style is, whether it's cool, calm, collected, and polite, or whether it's cussing them out, uh, that's all legal. Um, and, you know, I, I think it takes all kinds. <clears throat> I try very hard to uh, stay cool, calm, and collected. Uh, not going to lie, though, this particular situation gets me very upset. So... Uh, I have not been very nice with these people. What is the situation? Great, yes, I should go over that again. There's a lot more people in here now. Uh, a few weeks ago, here actually, let me, we got a better stream today. Let me show you on Facebook. We're gonna go over- no words. I'll give you my attention that one of my deputies has been involved in some. This is just the beginning of the story, okay? This was uh, posted on March 20th. We're at this sheriff's office right now. This was posted on March 20th. Good afternoon, Lincoln County, New Mexico. Michael Wood, your Lincoln County Sheriff here. It's March 20th, 2024. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon, and um, I'm just going to start out by saying I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed beyond words. Just a few hours ago, it was brought to my attention that one of my deputies has been involved in some inappropriate behavior uh, with someone of the opposite sex who also happens to be a convicted felon. Uh, this investigation is in its preliminary stages. <clears throat> Everyone is entitled to due process, and that will be the case here. So absolutely no further information will be released regarding this person or um, details regarding the investigation. I'm sorry. So uh, he says no further information will be released about this person. So I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, since the sheriff won't be transparent, the person is Harry Gray, H-A-R-I-G-R-A-Y, Harry Gray. He's a deputy with the department. And the allegations were that while he was arresting a woman, had her in handcuffs, um, under arrest, detained, in other words, not free to leave his presence, uh, he was trying to uh, uh, get her phone number and invite her out to uh, stay in a hotel with him. Uh, Harry was trying to get her to sack up with him while he was arresting her. Now, look, I ain't trying to hate on Harry's game at all. Harry, you, you want to get some, <clears throat> some, some, you know, you do what you do as a grown up. Uh, I ain't hating on you at all for that. Here's the problem. Trying to hook up with somebody who is um, detained by you, who is not free to go, uh, sh should be criminal. So let, let's try to put this into perspective. Who's that guy who would, uh, who would keep people down in the well and he would lower the basket and tell them to put the lotion on them? And, and of course, the victim puts the lotion on because the victim is detained and the victim is like, well, I'll do whatever my captor says, you know, to, to try to get free or to try to satisfy him so he doesn't further harm me. That's that's the Buffalo Bill. Thank you. That's 
what it implies when you are asking someone for something or trying to hook up with someone when they are in handcuffs, not free to leave your presence. That's what he's talking about here. Uh, have you have any of you ever gone to a bar, said, hey, you know what? This one's pretty cute. Wait till she goes into the bathroom, handcuff her to the toilet and then try to ask her out. I don't think you should actually do it, but I'll, I'll, I'll bet you I know what the outcome is if you do something like that. That's not that's not hitting on someone. That's <laughs> There is no evidence or inf- now don't get me wrong if he met her in the grocery store and, and you know wanted to hit on her good for you bro i ain't hating on your game get it son but don't cuff them up tell them they're not free to go and then start asking for that stuff boss move <laughs> it's the implication criminal activity afoot so he says there, there is- doesn't seem to be criminal activity afoot there is no evidence or information suggesting that there is any criminal activity afoot however there is clear evidence inf- clear enough evidence to suggest that um, we do have some ethical policy violations that have been committed. That's not what we're... So by Sheriff Woods, uh, it's it's not criminal to uh, physically restrain and detain someone and then ask them out. I don't know. Maybe it's not illegal. Um, It gets worse, though. It gets worse. This is just the beginning of the story. Before we police you. Oh, sorry, I gotta stop the interrupting. Been, that's not what we're about. Um, that won't be tolerated. We will police ourselves before we police you. This individual has been decommissioned, placed on administrative leave, and taken home with um, instructions not to, in any way, shape, or form, represent the Lincoln County Sheriff. Once again, that is all the information that I can give you at the moment because there, this person is entitled to due process. And Harry Gray should be entitled to due process. To live by- An accusation isn't proof, but here's the thing. Um, so uh, the sheriff released this video moments after her attorney requested the body cam footage. It appears to me that the sheriff probably saw the body cam footage himself and that was likely why he put Harry Gray on leave. Not just because of her accusations, but my guess, because I haven't seen the body cam footage yet myself because he hasn't released it because he's not being transparent. But it gets worse, it gets far worse, right? So Harry Gray is on leave. This is just, this isn't even the bad part. It gets far worse. So Harry Gray is on leave, right? This woman essentially snitched on him, snitched on Harry Gray for what he did, allegedly did to her. Um, two weeks later, yesterday, she gets pulled over. Let me see who is the officer that pulled her over. Uh, I don't have it on this phone. Uh, she gets pulled over yesterday for allegedly, uh, passing a school bus. If she really did that, you know, great. Pull her over. That's man. That's awful. Um, but she gets pulled over. The, the cop takes her license, her registration, her insurance. He goes back to his car. He comes back and he gives her all her papers back and says, uh, I'll send you a ticket in the mail. Um, she is looking at her stuff later and realizes that he never gave her license back. He only gave back her, her insurance and her registration. So she calls her attorney and says, hey, they still have my license. Can, can you get it back for me? And so her attorney reaches out to the sheriff and the sheriff says, well, there's a lot more to it than that. She, uh, she fled a traffic stop. There's a warrant for her arrest. Okay. What kind of person pulls over, gives you all of their information, their license, registration, and insurance, and then runs? You, if you're going to flee the police, You don't stop for a traffic stop. You flee the police. So they put out a warrant for her arrest and um, they go with allegedly nine deputies and the sheriff himself and they arrest her. And she's in jail right now. She's in jail right now from that arrest that happened yesterday afternoon. So she snitches on a cop. Two weeks later, she's under arrest for a traffic violation, allegedly. 
Hey, did you come to meet with me? Are you? Did you come to meet with me? Did they send you instead of the sheriff? Or okay, do you have a few minutes when you're done there? Appreciate it, Sergeant Beard. Sergeant Beard knows that the uh, sheriff is crooked. I'm going to need to run over to the uh, the jail within the next five or ten minutes, so Courtney's going to be getting out. No, I definitely have fear. Thank you for James. You got no fear whatsoever. That's. I'm, that's that's an absolute lie. When people are like, "Oh, James, you're just so courageous that you can hold up the camera," I can't do that. Uh, there are some situations I walk into just totally cool and calm and chill as a cucumber, but there are others like this where you, where I know I'm dealing with real criminals who will really violently attack me, and uh, I definitely have fear. I fear what they will do to me. It's just that I'm tired of letting that fear control me instead of turning it back on them and saying, you know what? You're right. You got the violence. You're willing to use it. You're willing to attack me. But you know what? Screw you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this is one of those situations that personally, I, uh, I, I won't put it past these people to attack me. Hey, so by the way, I want to mention also, I have not seen any body cam footage from any of this. Um, it looks really bad. It smells really bad. But by all means, if the sheriff's department hasn't done anything wrong, all I'm asking them to do is immediately just release all that body cam footage showing us in full transparency, look, we didn't do anything wrong. She's the one who's breaking the law. That's what's really going on. And if that's the case, by all means, come show us. <clears throat> Just put out the footage. But it stinks real bad when you snitched on a cop two weeks ago and then you're in jail for something that would normally be a $100 fine. Hey, Sergeant Beard? Yes, sir. I'm James. I go by James Freeman. Or uh, my real name is Springer. Some people say I try to hide my identity, so I wanted to throw that in there. Okay, yeah, Sergeant Rex Beard. Rex Beard, good to meet you. Uh, are you are you familiar with the uh, the arrest of Courtney yesterday afternoon? No, I was off. Okay, so you weren't there. Do you know where the sheriff's at? No, I don't. All I know is he's not here. Is he on duty? Do you know? Um, technically, the sheriff's never off duty. Okay. Um, but I don't know where he's at right now. All right. I've been. I've, just got back from Corona. I was up there doing some patrol. Okay. And I was headed up there when they said you were here, so I came down. Oh, okay. So you did come to meet with me? Well, but the undersheriff got here the same time I did, mm -hmm. and she's normally the one that talks to. Okay. Well, I can talk to her too. I mean, uh, either way, I'm. Did they did they tell you what I'm looking for? Or do do you want me to communicate that to you? All I know is they said that if, if you had to fill out a hip request, if you had stuff that you want. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Do you want me to start at the beginning? I'm trying to figure out where I should start here. So there was an arrest yesterday. We think that it, some shady stuff happened. I understand how IPRA requests work. I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, I also understand that a sheriff, if he wants to be fully transparent, can release body cam footage at any time. He can release it. He's got a Facebook page and I've seen him go live. We've all seen him go live on there quite a few times. And he's talked about how he wants to use this page for transparency to put out things to the public that they need to know about in real time rather than it taking forever for things to get done. And that's that's directly from him. Okay. Uh, at this point, we, we got a lot of people, not just here in Carrizozo, not just in New Mexico, but around the country, that think that what he did yesterday was pretty dirty and pretty shady. We're just asking him to uh, put up the body cam video of the traffic stop that happened with Courtney yesterday, as well as the arrest that happened with Courtney yesterday. And she's currently in jail down the road. This is a woman who, who snitched on a cop a couple of weeks ago. 
she made some allegations against Deputy Harry Gray. Uh, sheriff put him on leave. I don't know what's transpired since then. I know that there's a criminal investigation into him because I was present for the uh, interview that she did with the DA's office. I know that there's a criminal investigation into it. And, and yeah, um, so, and, and now at this point, two weeks later, after she snitched on a cop who is now, I don't know if they brought him back yet, but it was at least temporarily on leave and as a criminal investigation against him, and now two weeks later, she's arrested for something that would normally be a $100 citation. By, I, I don't know what she was stopped for. So. <laughs> so, well, that's what I'm looking for. Allegedly, she was stopped, allegedly, for passing a school bus. She gave her license, her passing registration. Passing a school bus more like a $300. Fee. Is it? Okay. Fair enough. I, I guess uh, one of my attorneys looked it up and said it was $100. Yeah, I don't he may be wrong. I think that's... it's. Uh... Uh, fairly significant because it is. I I, I agree, and and it's alleged. And if she did do that, gosh, I mean, good good for you for, good for whoever for stopping her. Yeah. She gave her license, registration, and insurance. He came back, gave back her registration and insurance, not her license. Um, later that day, uh, I guess he said he'd he'd mail a citation. Do you guys normally do that? I don't. Um, it, it is a uh, discretionary thing, and it depends on who stopped. Because I, I know I've I've told people that when I run out of citations. Okay. I, I personally don't write a lot of citations anymore. Mm -hmm. When I was a young man, new cop, I didn't know any better, so I wrote a lot of tickets. I'm glad you know better. <laughs> I'm glad the way you phrased that. <laughs> well, it's today, 26, 27 years later, to me, education is better, and they advise them what they could do. Now, passing a school bus, that's something uh, you sure. just let go. Sure, and it's alleged, and if, if she really did, by all means. You know, I knew. Yeah, I, the, the mailing citation, I, I didn't know, I don't know which officer it was. I don't know okay. what was going on, if they had citations with them, okay. but I don't know. So uh, she says that he handed back her stuff and said, I'll mail you a citation. She gets home later, realizes she doesn't have her license. He only gave back the registration and insurance. Reaches out to get her license and finds out they say, you got a warrant for your arrest for fleeing that traffic stop. Okay. Who the hell pulls over? Have you ever had someone pull over, give you all their information? That's nothing but a citation. That's not a jailable offense, right? In New Mexico, I still believe that if there's not a uh, <clears throat> sentence attached to it, and it could be incorrect, um, that it's not a uh, jailable. But at least before that, there are citations in lieu of arrest. Mm -hmm. So technically... I know constitutionally you can arrest on citations. Okay. And that's technically what a citation is. In a, mm -hmm. is a in summons, arrest. right? Yeah. It's a but summons. it's a release, a yeah. cite, uh, yeah, arrest and release. I'm alleging you did something wrong. Here you go, you know, go on about your day. So. Okay. Well, so then afterwards, um, they, she was trying to get her license back and found out she's got a warrant for her arrest for f allegedly fleeing that traffic stop. And the reason this all kind of looks so funky to me is I, I don't really believe people pull over, give you all their information, tell you who they are, sit there and wait until you get some of your stuff back and then intentionally flee a traffic stop. Is it, does that make sense? Like it okay. sounds. So I've been doing this a very long time. Yeah. Um, I have had people that believe that they were free to go uh -huh. when they weren't. Um, but I immediately turn everything back, you know, because my lights are on the whole time. Sure. I immediately turn the siren back on and try to get them to pull over. Right. Um, so I don't know what happened in this instance. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys have a no pursuit policy. Uh, we go with state statute. Okay, and they um, pursue. I mean, if if someone were to pull off, you'd try to pull them back over, right? Um, At least me, right off the bat. According to state statute, a pursuit policy. <clears throat> um, they have to have committed. They were either a uh, threat okay. to the general public because of their driving, or a violent felony. Okay. Then you can keep pursuing. Other than that, it's up to the department policies and different things within and stuff, as long as you're not in violation of that pursuit policy to uh, keep pursuing or not. Okay. So, and I wasn't there, so I don't know what sure. call was made. If someone said, I'm in pursuit, and they said, no, never mind, you've got their information type of thing. I don't know. I yeah. There. Yeah, and I wasn't either, and that's kind of why that's really... All of this looks and smells dirty and suspicious, but really what I came here for was because it looks so bad, 
to the uh, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, Mr. Freeman, I'm sorry, but your permission is to be on our property. Ma'am, go back inside. I'm talking to Rex Beard. You need this to leave. Uh, are you, you, you going to Are you sure you're going to do that? You're going to be placed under arrest. What's your name? My name is Under Sheriff Geraldine. And Martinez. you're telling me to leave the public building yes, or I'll be arrested? I am. Right yes, now. I am. You will arrest me? Yes. All right. Great. What's your name? Geraldine Martinez. Geraldine Martinez. You better leave. You screwed up big time there, sweetheart. Nice. You can talk to your attorney and you can talk to our attorney. You're screwed up. You screwed up big time. <clears throat> hey, Rex, do you want to come out and speak with me or do you want to... No? So, you need, no? You need to leave the firm. so Rex is also running for sheriff. Rex, aren't you? You sure you don't want to come and talk to the people? Come on. I, I think you're what the people want and need, Rex. I'm saying stand up. Be a man and come out here with me. Well, they, they kicked me out of the building and I was right up for arrest. I'm not going to go to jail over here. I want to arrest you. Where's Blair? The undershare. Hold on, let me get to where there's. It's windy over here. Give me a second. The undersheriff just came and told me if I don't leave the building, she'll arrest me. Um, I'm going to call Blair real quick. Uh, and I'm going to head over to the jail right now. And and uh, Rex Beard was there, and Rex agreed with the undersheriff. So he's also running. All right. I'll see you over at the jail. Bye. All right, we're going to run over to the jail. I know, wind. Bear with me. We're going to run over to the jail. We're going to meet with uh, Courtney and her attorney. She should be getting out here soon. Um... I'm gonna think about what to do from this point. <laughs> um, first off, I'm gonna call the guys at Gorilla Media and uh, see if we can't get a crew out here. I was gonna head to Texas, but I'm gonna stay here tonight. We're gonna go over to the jail uh, to see Courtney get released. And um, I was supposed to be in Kirby, Texas tonight. This came up, so I'm not. <laughs> um, and now, based on the way that it's developing, I'm gonna stay here in Ruidoso tonight. Um, if any of you guys want, I'm sorry, it's Carazozo. Carazozo, if any of you guys wanna come out here to be out here at the Sheriff's Department tomorrow morning, uh, come on out. I think they open at 9 a.m. Um, we're going to go over and talk to Courtney. At this point, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like I said, we don't have any control whatsoever. The law doesn't matter. Um, yes, it's absolutely completely unlawful and illegal for them to kick me out of there. But <clears throat> what am I going to do? Be attacked violently and lose all my stuff? No, nah, that's not a win. We can file a lawsuit without that. Phone's plugged in. It's freaking hot in here too. God bless you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Flores, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh... So much for transparency, huh? 
Not only will we not show you what's going on, we'll threaten violence against you for trying to figure out what's going on. <clears throat> That's your Sheriff Wood right there. All right, so we're headed over to the jail to see Courtney get out and talk with her attorney. And then I'm gonna call uh, Blair Dunn. Um, and let him know that uh, this will be my, I believe my third lawsuit in New Mexico currently. I've got one against a judge. can go and look up my lawsuits uh, here, by the way. Um, they are Springer versus 7th Judicial District Court. You can Google them and these will come up. Sp Springer versus uh, 7th Judicial District Court. Mercedes Murphy, Shannon Murdoch, Susan Rossignol, and Jason Jones. And then uh, I also have a lawsuit against the governor of the state. And uh, that would be under Springer v. Grisham, uh, which that one is becoming a pretty big case that is probably going to go to the Supreme Court. And um, there's like 15 or 16 states in the U.S. that filed amicus briefs on that case. And that's the case where the governor tried to uh, disarm all law-abiding citizens in New Mexico for our safety. I gotta get this out of the sun. <clears throat> and so this will be number three. I should have uh, clarified with Rex Beard if he would arrest me as well. Because if he had also threatened to arrest me, I could also add him to the lawsuit. But since the undersheriff is the only one who clarified that she would arrest me, she's the only one that uh, I think can... I mean, I don't know. I, we, I don't think we have a failure to intervene law in uh, New Mexico. And I don't know if that, if, if that would even fall under failure to intervene anyways. Because it's not like she was violently attacking me. She was just threatening to. Rex Beard is uh, probably in a tough situation as well, though. I'm still not going to excuse anything from him, though. Um, but he's still... Uh, the, the crooked sheriff, Wood, is still his superior. But I'm still not going to excuse it. At this point... Rex Beard has potentially tens of thousands of people that would have his back if he decided to stand up and do the right thing for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, I think if he were to actually, st I know actually for a fact, if he were to stand up and do the right thing, he would have hundreds of thousands of supporters. Because we, we always hear this, oh, it's just one or two bad apples. Okay, well, all the good ones are standing there doing nothing about it. Like, you're a good guy because you didn't beat your wife? But you stood there and watched your friend beat his wife? That makes you a good guy. Um, we, you know, the tables have turned. There's support for um, Blue Line members who are willing to uphold the law and defend the Constitution and defend the rule of law against their, their tyrannical overlords. There's, the, the tables have turned at this point. And the question is, are you going to go down with the criminals or are you going to be one of the ones who stands up and helps us take down the criminals? You can say it's just talk, but look, we're hitting them all over the U.S. 
Uh, I, I know it's not nearly as much as it should be, but there are cops going to jail far more frequently than they used to. All over the U.S. And it's going to start increasing. It's slow. It's a, it's a slow process for sure. The question is, do you want to go to jail with them? Or do you want to actually do what, what, what you uh, probably started the job to do? To uphold law and order. And to be that barrier between the criminal element and the good people in our society. And the criminal element here is Sheriff Wood. Hopefully I keep good signal over here. So we're over here at the jail to uh, see Courtney get out and we're gonna talk with her attorney. Make a phone call real quick. The sun is brutal. Give the phone a minute to charge also that way. If she's not out yet, I'm also going to make a phone call to one of my attorneys about uh, what just happened, being uh, kicked out of the building under threat of arrest, being kicked out of my building under threat of arrest. And like I said yesterday, we are in charge. And I think, I think you finally can be at peace. not gonna be in charge uh, when a violent thug says they're gonna attack you and they're wearing a badge believe them The sheriff himself needs to be in prison. What a coward. He wouldn't even come out here and face me. What a coward. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Recording? Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Is uh, is the warden here? Uh, who was the uh, lieutenant that was working last night? The female? Rodriguez, I think. Come out there. Sure. 
Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, I'm James. Yeah. Do you go by Freeman yeah. or I, Springer? I okay. Um, let's go out here. We, we don't care for recording. I'll, you can record me all you want. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hot out there is the only problem. Well, my my phone will overheat. This is... <laughs> if I... I my, no, my, will my phone... You want to talk to me? Come on out. You're not willing to talk in here? No, I'm not. Come on out. Can we get a private room back there maybe? I mean, I don't... No. Maybe in the lobby right there. Is that good? Right, right here in the... Because I mean, we've got we've got people here. Okay, man. If you want to make it difficult, we can just. I mean, you can cooperate, or you can make it difficult. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. I'm not required to cooperate. No, you're not. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. And and the sheriff chose to do it the hard way. So you do whatever you want. Who was the uh, female uh, so, lieutenant that was working so last night? I'm not going to do this in front of the public. Why not? So, because it's inappropriate. Shouldn't they know? What do you mean it's inappropriate? It's inappropriate for the public. You're okay. you're doing it in front of 1,800 so people. So your choice is. Step out. I'm mm -hmm. happy to talk with you. Okay. Or I'm done. Okay. So it's your choice. Well, why do you got to be difficult about it? It's I'm not done. a. Why is it such a thing? I'm not, uh, I'm not giving you, I'm are you are you choice. bothered by me talking okay. to him? Yeah. Are you bothered by me talking to him? You know what? Sir, nobody's bothered by it but you. I am bothered by it. Why are you bothered by it? Why Why are you bothered by talking inside rather than outside? Why do you have to make such a big deal of nothing? Uh, because I'm giving you a choice. Like your, your, your okay. Oh, I mean, your staff has already been rude and nasty. I was trying to smooth that yeah. over with you. If you don't want to do that, I don't think it's time to smooth it over. Oh, I'll be more than happy to smooth everything over because I don't think it was well, your guys' fault either. I think it's the sheriff's department. I would love to smooth it over with you. Yeah. But like, I let's said, sit down right here. Come on. I don't, I don't let's want to do it let's just sit down. No, I'm not doing it right it's here. You're, Sorry, we can come so, out here. you're being so so yeah, uncooperative. No, I'm being very cooperative. I'm happy to... This is my you. investigation, though. I don't care about your investigation, frankly. I really don't. Okay. I, I care nothing for it. What's that? So I said I don't care anything about your investigation. Okay. We can step out and have a conversation, and you can <clears> record <throat> me all you want. Or I'm going to walk back in and go back to my office I, and get back to work. I mean, if that's what you want to do in front of 2,000 people is be so that's, childish that you want to have a conversation with me here and you want to have the conversation yeah, six feet away. Yeah, it's childish. Yeah, you you want to go six feet or else you're not going to have a conversation with me. Oh, she was nasty. She, she was nasty. She wasn't. She was. She was. She, I heard the whole conversation. She repeatedly interrupted me. Okay. All right. Just like you're doing to me. All right. Are you going to come speak or... No, I can't be here. All right. Me. Goodbye. Hello. Hi. <laughs> he just wants me out so he can lock me out and not let me back in. <laughs> How are you all doing today? Good. You here to pick people up or what? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about the uh, sheriff's department out here? Mm. Pretty good people? I've never had any experience with them. How about the jail staff? How have they been for you? The jail staff sucks. Yeah? You got any names specifically of someone who's been just nasty to you? Just this jail. This jail is absolutely horrible. What about you? you First time ever being here. How's your experience been? Hey! What is it? I raised the dog in my truck. And what's it called again? C Briggs Entertainment. C Entertainment? Yeah. All right. C Briggs Entertainment. Check out the FedEx Guy's YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, you're, you just shouted out to 2,000 people, bro. Way to seize the opportunity. <laughs> These guys are all butt hurt and fam I mean, dude, anytime a camera is turned on, you're on stage. You can either act like a total piece of shit or you can you can look amazing. You know, the, the freaking FedEx guy here totally caught off guard. No idea what to do. Hey man, shout me out. These guys act like total shit. <laughs> what is it again? Yeah, right here, here. C it's hard to hear through the window. What is it again? Oh, C Briggs Entertainment. C Briggs. Yeah. Letter C. Letter C, B R I G G S. B R I G G S. Yeah. Thanks, brother. <clears throat> is that tripod looking your phone? 
It does. It's a, it's a gimbal. Oh, so it, it makes so for cool. smooth. So this way, when you're running from the police, it's, uh, it's somewhat steady. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> What's going on? Are you having problems with these people? Or what? Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, you you want to hear a story? Sure. Um, so they've got, a, they've got a woman in here that I, I, I kind of believe they retaliatorily arrested because she snitched on one of their deputies a couple weeks ago. Oh. So she snitched on one of their deputies. That deputy is now on paid administrative leave. And go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. He's now on paid administrative. Can you mind being on camera? Okay, thanks. Because it's so hard to figure out where to point it without. I don't want to make the public uncomfortable, but honestly, screw them. Yeah. They, um, you know, they're on my my dime right now. So, but uh, uh, so I, I believe this woman was retaliatorily arrested. She uh, she snitched on a pig a couple weeks ago. That pig is on admin leave and has a criminal investigation against him for what he's alleged to have done. Then two weeks later, nine deputies go and arrest this woman and put her in this jail over a traffic citation. Aww. I mean, could, could she have possibly done something horribly wrong worth being in jail over? Maybe. But it just stinks, you know? She just snitched on this guy. And now over something petty, a civil traffic citation, it just it stinks. I went down to the sheriff's department and said, hey, you know, Sheriff Wood, you, you say you're all about transparency. Let's do it. Show us the body cam footage. Show us. You're good. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Show us what really happened, right? No he won't show us. They kicked me out of the building and said, hey, you have to leave this public building. If you don't, we'll arrest you. Actually, the sheriff didn't even show up himself. He's such a coward. Did you know Sheriff Wood is such a coward? I don't like him at all. He's a coward. I just went up there to talk to him. Instead of coming out to actually see me and speak with me, he sends a, a little woman in his place. I mean, what if I had been there to hurt somebody? Exactly. Of course he's sending this little, he's, he's sending it. He's uh, going to protect himself. Right, that's right. <laughs> so, so he sends her out to kick me out of the building. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyways, I'm sorry. So, so he sends her out to kick me out of the building. So, so they won't show us what happened. He, he keeps on going on Facebook talking about this, oh, transparency this, transparency that. I want you guys all to know what's going on in the community. Wow. Well, I'm right here. I'm live. We've got 2,000 people watching, but he's not. There's something going on that the community should know about. The sheriff is literally hiding, sending little women out to, to be the, the front lines, and, and he's in hiding. Right. And, and this girl is in this jail right now. Wow. Oh, yeah, this place is horrible. I got a call about one of the TVs not working. I got a call about one of the TVs not working. Yeah, me too. You got a YouTube channel you want to shout out? <laughs> hey, come on, seize the opportunity. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Seize it. Shout out your YouTube channel. You got a Facebook, you got an Insta. Are you seize the opportunity, yeah, I, man. I, come on. I don't care about this. It's an opportunity to show who you really are. I don't care about that stuff. To show who you are? Well. Uh, no, not to your 2,000 okay. viewers. Or I didn't, I didn't you whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, we'll sit so down. Look, Let's make this look, calm and comfortable. Let's make it calm and comfortable. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. Well, it's because you haven't even tried to speak with me. Yet. Well, I, I watched your your uh, podcast or whatever it is. Stream last night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I saw it. So I, I kind of get where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. For me, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to run an orderly professional facility, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I care not to do that stuff in front of people who are coming and trying to do. I mean, I don't know if they want to be on video. No, I asked that. 
Uh, yeah. Well, but I don't, I don't, I don't know that. I don't ask them because I, I don't, I try not okay, to do that. So but okay, okay, sure. in, in this Thank environment, you. it's, it's not appropriate. In my view. <laughs> okay. And that's nice that's really how I think I, I, I talked to you about six months ago, and I think we had yeah. a pretty good. I thought so too. But um, you know, I, I just don't know what you're what you're trying to do. Okay. Uh, do you want me to tell you? Mm, well, I, I. It seemed like you didn't care, and if you don't, that's you know, fine. I mean. I, I just I know I know how you operate. So okay. I mean, go, if if you have no, a question, no, go ask me a specific question. Well, go ahead and tell me how I operate. No, you just ask me a specific question, right. and I'll see if I can answer it. I'd like you to elaborate on the claim that you made. How I operate. I mean, okay. what's your so, perception of okay. me? My perception yeah. is that you try to control every moment of every situation, like you're doing right now, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm trying not to fall for. So Absolutely. If you want to, and that is have a, you nailed that right on the. If you want to, yeah have a conversation and you twist everybody's statements and to the way we want it to appear. We're live. It can't be twisted. But, but you can later. So here's the thing. I'm getting, I, I've asked you several times, ask me your question mm -hmm. and you haven't. Mm -hmm. So ask me your question. Okay. And, and you're right. You're absolutely right. I come in here and make sure to try to pretend to control. Me well, well, I'm having a conversation I'm, with you. Do you I, want to have it or no, not? I don't. I just want to answer okay. your well, question. Again, you know, you, answer, you keep you keep losing question. your opportunities to look I, good to the people I, that pay I, your... I don't care. And I know you don't care. I don't, I don't care. I know you don't care. And you don't pay my salary. I, I, I really don't care. Who so does? I just want you to ask the question... That you came here to ask. Well, I came to have a conversation with you in general well, I, as a human I, I, being, you but know, you don't I, seem I, to be I, acting very I human. I have, I okay, have, if you don't have time, have then quit coming out. Uh, there's other people here who were perfectly well, willing to have great conversations with me. If that's not you, form, then that, so, that, so that's where yeah. she learned to talk over people and interrupt people. I, no, <laughs> she probably did it by watching your your show. Well, she was on it. Did. She wasn't watching it. Well, but that's what she did. She was lying. Time. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing your game, dude. So we have it very clearly posted. The cameras are not allowed. Oh, what's the allowed. A, what's the so uh, statute I'm, on so that? I'm, all I'm asking you to do. What's is the statute on that? You're disturbing. Are you the disturbed? So I'm asking you to leave. Are you disturbed? I'm is anybody I, here I, disturbed I, by me being here? You're disturbing yeah. me. I kind of am. I don't need to hear. Yeah, you're disturbing me. So I'm asking you to leave. You're gonna go with that? So you're not gonna leave. You're not leaving. Are you under threat of arrest? I'm just asking. Under asking? No, thank you. No, because. You're if if you're threatening you're under if, if it's under threat of arrest, I'll leave. So call 105. If it's under threat of arrest, I'll leave. Are you is, if it's under threat of arrest, I'll leave. Can I open it for him? Hey Rex, how you doing? Uh, unfortunately, this is still county property. I've been instructed by the under sheriff to come over, advise you that you need to leave. This building too? Yes. Sir. Okay. Can you come out and clarify to me exactly where I can and can't go out there on the sidewalk? Because um, I need to know otherwise, I don't want to end up breaking the rules and getting arrested. So I need it to be very clear where I can and cannot be. Is that fair enough? Fair enough. Sidewalk? Um, the county property is and, going to start. And to be clear, it is under threat of arrest that I'm leaving this building. Is that right? I need it to be on. You, you will arrest me if yes. I don't leave. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Rex. Will you arrest me if I don't leave, Detective Bailey? Yes. Okay, thank you. So let's go out here and talk about exactly where I can and can't be so that I don't make any mistakes in the future. Fair enough? So okay. county property. Well, let's go out there and talk because you've asked me to leave. I don't want to linger here. You have a vehicle on here? I'll, I'll get somebody else to take care of it. I, oh, I, I don't want you to be a foot. What's that? I don't want you to be a foot. You can meet your well, let's go out here and talk and then I can get in the car and leave. Is that okay? That way we're off the property to talk. I can come back on and get my car. Is that all right? Because I, I don't want to linger here threaten me with arrest. I don't want to risk anything, you know? You're the, you're the one with the gun. You're the one who's willing to use violence against you. Look, I'm on arm threat. See? Why not? So the only people here threatening violence against anybody is you. So just to be clear. But let's come out here. Let's make sure I know exactly where I can and can't go under threat of arrest. I'm not sure. The easement's not totally clear here, but I think we can be reasonable, right? You're not going to... So now you're saying county property. She said you need to leave. 
physical building, go outside. can go wrong, right? Things need to be very okay. Am I allowed to go? Do you guys have a county library? Okay. What other county what other county buildings do you have in Carrizoza? In Carrizoza we have Okay, and what is that? Is that the sheriff's office? The sheriff's court, district court, uh, county administration. Um, Dispatches in there. Um, so yeah, the county administration takes a big majority of the district courthouses and then the sheriff's department. Okay. And are there any other county buildings in Carrizozo? Um, I believe actually no, because it's municipality. Uh, there's one the municipalities. Uh, I kind of prefer she come out here and make it really clear. I know she probably won't, but I mean, I, it would be best. So we all are on the same exact page. Of what's going on. In Lincoln County, at all county property, and I'm officially trespass. Can I, I need that in writing, then. If you, if you you know by law, if you're going to trespass, it's got to be in writing. So please, I, again, I'll I'll wait off the property while we handle all the paperwork. Uh, but I'm going to need it in writing that I'm trespassed from all can whatever the details are. It's got to be. In writing. Let's do an official trespass. Yeah, go ahead and go grab one. Thank you. I really am disappointed, Peter. Well, I am, I'm on duty. I have to. I, I you have, have to uphold the law. Them. They're not just rules. There's laws. And I understand you're in a tough situation. I really do. I'm gonna look you right in the eyes. I'm sorry. I got glasses. On. I can't see. Them. I understand that you're in a tough situation. I genuinely do. But I do think you're a good person. And, and right now, you're not following the law. You're following orders. And I get that position. Um, but I can tell you right now, there's a lot of people that will have your back you choose to obey the law and do the right thing and you know it's illegal to trespass me from public property unless I've committed a crime which I have not well, from it, the attorney mm -hmm. the attorney's not you the attorney, see you guys the used to have qualified immunity it. right yeah, the attorney doesn't end up on the lawsuit the, I'm not gonna try to take the attorney's boat truth is I'm not gonna get your boat, well, that, but I'm gonna try where the, uh, the undershirt well, and you're going to be responsible for your own actions. That's yeah, why I, I asked understand. you. That's why I asked you, are you going to arrest me? Let the undersheriff do it. Tell her. You can, you can tell me, James, you know what? I'm not going to arrest you for the county property. I'll let the undersheriff come and tell you that she'll arrest you. Because then, you, you, you're, I've seen this happen so many times. Everybody says their attorney said to do it. They said it in Leon Valley. My attorney said to do it. Guess what? The attorney was nowhere to be found when they were sitting in deposition. The attorney was nowhere to be found when we settled for half a million dollars. Say, do you understand? I don't want to condescend you, but I do want to condescend a lot of people because they're real pieces. But I don't think you're wrong. I think you're in a tough situation. But you can't, while you're on duty, you can't uphold the law and the Constitution. And I'll tell you right now, it is unlawful and illegal for you to threaten me with arrest for being on public property unless I've committed a crime first. Do you have a personal attorney you want to call? Can you want to go call him and I can you know, stand aside and we can try and figure this out? I'm saying let the undersheriff, undersheriff, let the crooked people do the crooked stuff and stop letting them use you. I don't want you to be caught in it. I understand that, and I've been caught in a lot of stuff. I know. I know. But I'm also a man, and I plan on doing what I can do when I can do it. And I believe in being lawful and correct. Yeah. yeah. Do stuff. And that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for broken stores to be able to. I'm asking you to do it. 
because I believe 100%. I know for a fact, based on my own court proceedings and settlements that I've received, that what you're doing is illegal. And, I, and I'm just begging you not to. I know that some of them will no matter what. It doesn't have to be you. right now I personally and tens of thousands of other people will support you when you do the right thing we're not asking you to help people break the law or get criminals off the hook we're just asking you to obey the law and I promise you your name would go nationwide as doing the right and I know you don't really care about that but the thing is previously it was tough to do the right thing because you just end up fired and nobody's got your back you're screwed and you're out of a job it's not like that anymore there are people that will support you for obeying the law and doing the right thing and and they have a lot of say in things at this point. So I have I've got over twenty five years in this job. Actually doing some form of law enforcement for over thirty years. First arrest I was hit on was in ninety one. Can I move closer just because the wind and the can and the I, I don't know if it's easy, it's it's probably hard to hear. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but I want you to pick up the audio. Blading at me it makes me uncomfortable. What does? Blading. What's blading? Oh it's sideways? Yeah. I thought it would make you more comfortable because then I, I, okay. Because if we're having a conversation, mm -hmm. as soon as I do this. Is that a fighting stance? I mean, it was an attempt at a, at a submissive stance. It's like this is good. Okay. It, it okay. means we're humans having a conversation. Cool. Good, good. All right. I, I don't, I'd rather be human than young in my career I was. To tell you the truth, most of these guys, I don't care what, what they are and aren't comfortable with, but when, I, I think there's some good people out here, and I don't want to be a, intentionally be a POS to those good people. So, right now, I'm, I still have to follow orders. Otherwise, I'm out of a job, and I live paycheck to paycheck like everybody else. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm we'll find out what they got when they get it. I'm trying to think of a solution here to help us all. <laughs> uh -uh. Well, in, in uniform, you have to do unless it's uh, illegal, immoral. I believe it is illegal, though, and that's what I'm getting at here. I 100% I believe it's illegal. And that's something because depending on what the articulation is. And that's the thing is articulating what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's going on right now is... Sure. Hey, can I call you back? You, you can take it. Yeah. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. I tried to do this inside. Um, I've been kicked out of the building under, under threat of arrest. Um, I know this sergeant to be a good man. Actually, genuinely believe that. Um, I'm not actually just bullshitting this guy right now. I, I do believe that. And uh, there are some crooked people in this sheriff's department, though. And I want to try and take care of the crooked people without taking out the ones that could really make some positive change here. I go by all. I'm an honestly. I'm not even the type of guy to get mad if you call me a cuss word. But uh, either way, it doesn't matter. I don't do that. Don't raise my Bailey that just left. Okay. Um, they've advised because it's an oral. So he's refusing to give a written. I'm trying to block wind. I understand. Uh, so he's refusing to give a written trespass. At this point, is the way it appears. They, they don't want to. They, they don't have to give one, so they're not going to. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do here because I want you. I would kind of like for you to leave and me not to be under threat of arrest for walking back on the property and let them come and do the dirty work. And I'm, I'm the one they're going to send. Why do you think that is? I'm the one they're going to send. Because they want to throw you in the line of fire. I, I don't know what 
I think that's what it is. I think it's because you're one of the one of the few good cops here, and so they know that they're telling you to do something. You like, can can you go call your attorney and then come meet with me again? I, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna talk to be honest too. I don't know what to do here. I get your situation. I'd like maybe we do a fundraiser for you, well, so that you don't have to worry about losing your job. I can't do anything in uniform. Okay. okay. You you can. You're you you are you are. I, I have a duty to uphold the law yes. and the constitution. So, Go make the phone call. I'll talk to a few people. We'll come back and meet up. You know what? We're gonna go get the car, take it off the property. Park on the side of the road here. Can I park on the side? All right, I'll go ahead and move it. That way, that's done. Man, I hate this. I don't like this. I don't like it for you. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it before. I got no problem slaying cops' careers most of the time. But most of them are crooked as shit. And you are just in a really bad situation. Most of them, the ones that I go after are malicious. They're nasty. They intend to cause harm to other people, and I love going after them. It's not you. I'm pissed off that they sent you, and I think, that, I think that's exactly why they sent you. Um, what time's your shift over? I will be off at 10 o'clock tonight. Okay. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try this again at 10 o'clock since I wasn't clear on where I can or can't go. Okay. I'll try again after you're off shift. As long as you're not on count, no problem. Which right now... this race. You have a good day. Um, yeah, I, the, well, the lawsuit is imminent. I mean, it's going to happen. Um, it's just, I, Rex is a slave. He is a slave. And I know that a lot of you guys are probably really pissed off at me for, uh, for doing what I'm doing and trying to cut Rex so much slack. Um, But, uh, I don't know, I've, I've told people before, I'm just going to pull out and pull over on the side of the road up there. I've told people before, though, um, if, if I were a cop, I have uh, six kids. At the time when I said this last, I had five kids. And I, I told people, I think that a lot of cops take the job genuinely thinking that they're going to be doing the right thing, that they want to... Uh, uphold the law, that they want to protect the weak and the innocent. I think a lot of them really do join for that reason. And if I joined for that reason personally, and I've got five kids, and then one day I realize, holy crap, um, I'm not upholding law. I am the criminal. I, call it what you want. Call me a coward. Call me a POS. You're probably right. But I don't think I would quit my job that day. First, I would try to find some some way to get out. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, James, you're, you're just being too soft on them. I know a goddamn crooked cop when I see one. I know a crooked cop when I'm dealing with one. There are crooked cops here, and they're trying to throw this guy under the bus. And uh, I, they, they, they're, they're smart. They're smart. It is a cult. You're right. And, and all cops, it, we can go down this... Uh, I don't know. It's so. I guess I've been trespassed from all county property. Uh, does anybody want to come out here tomorrow? They're all crooked. I know. I know. I just look, man. It's it's that it's that hopeless hope that I always that I always keep. You know, where somewhere in me I'm like, man, maybe just maybe there's a good guy out there. I don't know. So. Um, can I, anybody want to come out here tomorrow?
You know what? Maybe not tomorrow. I think actually uh, I should rally up the uh, Guerrilla Media crew. I think maybe we should set something out. Uh, probably get the uh, Tucson crew up here. I think that's a good idea. Maybe go two weeks out and get a real big rally going up here. What do you think? Tonight? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this, though. Well, I, I wanted to interview Courtney and her attorney. Um, hey, we've all got egos. I'm working on mine, too. The ego wants you to say, oh, no, I'm right, so I'll, I'm going to keep doing this. But it's not always the smartest thing to do. Just because you're right, it's, it's not always the smartest thing to... So I think, um, I think I'll go ahead and kill this here. I'm gonna make a phone call to uh, one of my attorneys and uh, see if we can't get a lawsuit going on these people. I'll talk to you guys later.